through the use of a new computer technology known as virtual reality. Since the beginning of time, humans have figured out ways to survive and, of course, entertain themselves. Virtual reality has beginnings that preceded the time that the concept was coined and formulized. The earliest example would be Michelangelo's ceiling fresco from 1480. That's the one where Adam and God are about to touch fingertips. Standing in the middle and looking up, the viewer is immersed in the painting, creating, in a way, a virtual reality. The earliest use of the term virtual reality comes from 1938. Antonin Artaud described the illusory nature of characters and objects in the theater as la réalité virtuelle. In a collection of essays, le tria est son double, meaning the theater and its double. In 1929, Edward Link created a flight simulator called the Link Trainer, which could be considered the very first form of an electronic VR device. Already well-renowned computer graphic scientist Ivan Seldon created what is widely regarded as the first virtual reality headset back in 1968. It was called the Sword of Democles, which is a Greek myth about a king who tied a sword above his throne and let Dionysus sit down and feel what it felt like to be king. And apparently Ivan's headset was named after this because it was just like the sword, bulky, heavy, and intimidating to sit on. Battlezone is considered the first virtual reality video game. Utilizing wireframe graphics and first-person control, you control the tank in a 3D vector world by looking into the arcade game. This was 1980. Remember virtual reality in the 90s? It was popular culture, like Lawnmower Man from 1992, adapted from a Stephen King short story that actually had nothing to do with virtual reality. Most likely, Hollywood chose to use VR because it was on trend and relevant. Sega also attempted to enter the VR market when they announced a VR headset and four games for the Sega Genesis at the 1993 Consumer Electronics Show. The company had to scrap the product due to technical development difficulties and concerns of negative side effects due to prolonged use. Let's also not forget about Nintendo's failed VR gaming platform from 1995, Virtual Boy. VR also has its side effects like digital eye strain. What's that? Well, typically digital eye strain manifests itself as temporary physical discomfort that can be felt after several hours in front of a digital screen. Also, with the employment of lithium batteries in some headsets, the potential of combustion has the odds of Russian roulette. Okay, I mean, that's pretty extreme. Probably speculative, but it's my opinion. I mean, look at hoverboards of the Galaxy Note 7. There's so much more to this relatively new world of virtual reality. And for now, it's still just a novel idea with a rat race of competitors in hopes of capitalizing. Will virtual reality one day be a household item? Until then, you're gonna look weird when you're in the Le Trier et Soudouble. <laughs>